Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Farm 2, picking up right where we left off from last episode. We got some some cows for us in a little pen that we created. Hello, fellas. How you guys doing? You're happy, aren't you? Boingy, 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 boingy. <laughs> a happy little fellow there. Oh, good, we got a little growth here. I mean, I'm going to pick you up and we're going to put you over here. Fortunately, you have a bad habit of going into my Forester's backpack. There we go. Alright, so what else do we have in there? Nice. A lot of great wood. Another sapling and some apples. Nice. Alright, so what I think what I might do real quick is do a little bit of work here on the house and start maybe on the floor. Uh oh. It's a little slow on grass, it seems. It's a little bit faster on dirt. Grass takes a little bit longer to pick up, it seems. Uh, I had a pretty awesome idea not long ago. I was looking at uh, yeah, the smeltery over there and how I could maybe incorporate that into the house. And I thought about it and I said, you know what? This might not be too bad for, like, a chimney. You know, so we could make this go really, really high, as high as we want. And you know, put a whole bunch of stuff in, in there, and it'll hold more the higher we make this. So I was like, well, what if we just make this into a giant chimney, and have this expand down to where we can actually use it in the basement, you know, and actually use it for you know smelting stuff. Um, maybe like here, on this level, we'll have um, it built into the side of the house a little bit, and all we see is like the seared bricks, and we use the seared bricks to work in a fireplace for the living room right here. So I've kind of been working on how I want to lay out the house a little bit, and I think we might work on that today a little bit. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, also, I kinda wanna start working on a basement. Actually, over here, let's see. Actually, that is perfect. See, right here in this area, I have this planned out to be the kitchen. So this is going to be the kitchen. Right here in this area is going to be the dining room. Back here is going to be the living room. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do right here in this area just yet. Uh, this is going to be the walk-in, of course, the foyer, foyer, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do on these front two rooms, though. Uh, but I kind of got this back part planned out, and we're going to get started on that for sure. I want to see how the great wood definitely looks for the floor. And then possibly see if I can't start a basement. I think that'd be really, really, really good. Alright, so pretty sure I want to expand out from here. So yeah, sorry door. Sorry about that. Gonna have to pick you up, buddy. Let's see. And this needs to expand all the way over. Ooh, some salt. I'm going to pick that up. Man, let me go ahead and clear this out first. <laughs> then we'll get to the salt. So, at least I'll have plenty of dirt. Oh, right. I forgot. I need to get some wheat growing for the cows. All right, maybe we'll do that in just a minute. I need to get a small farm going or something for them. Oh, that awesome Minecraft music's back. All right, here, let's put the mattock here. that would be good for a few single pieces of grass. There we go. Nice. Ooh, copper. I'm going to be picking you up too, buddy. Right now. Wait, what? That's a mattock. <laughs> Whoops. Is there any more? Is that it? Well, that's no fair. That's not cool. I wanted more than that. Oh, what a rip. All right, fine. I'll just take the salt. Thank you. And for now, we'll just fill you in with dirt. Awesome. All right, let's convert some of this into great wood planks. Show you guys what this looks like. I like the way this looks. It's a nice dark wood. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think that'll be... Hmm. Actually, I don't know. 
Maybe in some rooms. We'll see. It may be a little too dark. But what I'm going to do is lay it down first, because then we'll be able to kind of get a good eye for it and how it's going to look in its entirety from kind of like room to room. So we're just lay this down really quick. This won't take very long. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to place down some torches again because those all fell down that was inside the house. So I have to get those replaced. Out. Let's do half a stack. You know, a builder's wand would be very, very helpful right now. I don't know, this might look pretty good for the living room. But I'm probably going to use carpeting in a good portion of the house, so this might not be bad. And it's a nice wood because we got a plentiful amount of it too. So considering we'll have carpet, and this underneath, I think that'll work out very well. Nice, all right, not bad. All right, let's go ahead and F7 this, thanks to NEI. Go ahead and place us down some torches, some light. I do remember the um, candles I have, but I'm going to use that a little bit later. A little bit more fine-tuned stuff for that. Right, you, I can't have that. Sorry. Looks like we got one over here as well. One on there. Can't have mob spawning in here. Alright, that should work for now. Cool. Alright, now on to some wheat. We need to figure out where I'm going to put some wheat for those cows. I think, if anywhere, we'll put it right there next to the entrance. Alright, let's do that. Let's grab some buckets. Grab some water real quick. If I remember, there we go. Nice. And let's see what kind of seeds we have. So we have barley seeds. I think that will work. We have regular seeds. I think we might use those. Sunflower, appetite, rice. Amber does not go in there. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Let's pull the salt out too because that actually goes in there. Uh, tomatoes. I don't remember if there was anything else or if there was like a... In fact, I can pull the grapes. I think I don't have any blueberries yet, but we do have some raspberries. So we can pull these guys out. I don't know if there was like any type of wheat seed from any other mod, which is kind of why I'm just looking through this real quick. Ooh, cranberries. All right, so we got those. I think we'll just use a little bit of fertilizer. And we'll just use that on these seeds here. I think that'll be for the best. Right, sorry, Grass, you gotta go. And what are you? White mushroom spore. No, thank you. Sounds kind of dangerous. Alright, let's see. Maybe. I think we might do this a little tricky like. And see about growing, or not growing, but have the water back here underneath the wall. Like that. And that. I don't need that much water, but <laughs> I'm just doing it so I can get another couple buckets worth to put back in my, my bag. Just like that. So I have those for later on. Alright, so now this area I should be able to till. We'll do it from here. Actually, that might bug me a little bit. There we go. 
That should be fine. Alright, now, hoping with the water this will grow a little bit faster. Holy cow. That was a lot of stages, but that gave us quite a bit of wheat. <laughs> Look how much we have to go through at the top of the screen on the on Whala. 14%, 29%, 43, 57, 71, 86, matured. Jeez, that is insane, but I think it gives you like four pieces of wheat from that too. Quite a bit, actually. All right, let's see. We'll do this. And I'm going to leave one in my inventory. Just so that way it doesn't pop into my Forester's bag or something. All right, good. So we got 12 seeds. This should be getting close to finished. And yeah, we just need a little bit more. We have 23 wheat on us already. Let's grab like half a stack of this. There we go. And that should be enough to finish off this small little farm for us. And have us a nice little supply of wheat. There we go. Nice. A few extra seeds. I guess we could just do this. Add another extra side here. Cool. Alright, so 37 pieces of wheat. And I think if we do that... Oh, cool. Well, those actually turn... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Didn't know that. Sorry. But at least I got some wheat now, too. So this is cool. So we can start breeding you fellas. Come on, you two. Come down here. Come down here. I don't want your... Your little calf to be on the outside of that fence when he comes into this world. Yeah, yeah, give me your experience too. Thank you. Much obliged, fellas. Got you a nice little wheat farm here too. Jumping of joy, I see that. All right, that should work for now. Um, of course, later on, this isn't going to be here. This is going to be incorporated into the side of the house, so we're going to have a lot more room along the side here. I think it'll be a lot better off for us. So, there we go. Great wood tree hasn't grown yet. And we'll go ahead and put this stuff away. Seeds. We'll put you back in there. Amber we'll put in there. White mushroom spore. Right, so that's a seed. We'll just go ahead and put you in there. We got some wood. Throw you in there. The door. We need to put the door back down. All right, so wheat, hold on. Let's go ahead and see what we can't do with wheat. Because we are going a little weird on the food right now because of just the uh, using the apple cider. Our hunger is kind of decreasing a little bit faster than I want it to. So let's take a look at what we can do. Industrial fertilizer, compost. Nah, yeah, that's all right. So with mortar and pestle, we can use that with wheat to make flour. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be using a lot of flour for some cooking recipes. So I'm thinking we might want to make that. All right, so how do we make that? Three pieces of stone and a stick. Super easy. All right, do we have any extra sticks? No. Three pieces of stone. Nice and easy. There we go. Missile and porter. I mean, what? <laughs> I totally messed that up. I'm I'm so used to saying pestle and mortar, not mortar and pestle. So I, that that's why. <laughs> My bad. All right, let's see. So if we can use this to make flour, we can then use that for what? We can use that to make dough, breaded pork chops, which sound very delicious. That's a light meal. So that's just one of the reasons why I want to get some pigs. Fish sticks. So we can use that with just about any type of fish. Raw calamari. Oh, that could be kind of cool. Bakeware. We need bakeware. So this is made... Oh, you can make... Oh, we can have glass bakeware? Cool. So let's do that then. Glass bakeware sounds awesome. 
Don't know if it's any different than the other one, but uh, sure, yeah. That'll work for me. All right, and then we picked up that raw calamari from earlier. So if we use the pestle and mortar, that's what I'm going to call it, to make some flour, combine that with the raw calamari, we can make fish sticks. Oh, that is awesome. How much does this give me? Oh, nice. It's a little light meal. That's not bad. So we could run around doing that. I wonder if that'll actually work with these fish, though. Actually, I don't know if you'd really consider these fish. Wait, fish meal? Hold a minute. Fish food. Crucible furnace. Okay, then. That's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and do this real quick. We'll make a few more pieces of flour. All right, yeah, that, that does not work. All right, so it doesn't recognize that as a fish, I guess. It was worth a shot, for me at least. All right, so I'm gonna put the wheat and flour in there. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I think, let's make a tool rack for our food, or our cooking dishes, um, things. So let's see, let's do, Six of you. I need one ingot. And we'll make some oak wood slabs. We'll combine that like so. Iron ingot in the center. And we'll have ourselves an oak tool rack. I still haven't even put my door down yet. Alright, and I think that'll be a good spot for it. Let's see. No! Darn it! I thought seeing how it said tool on it, <laughs> it might work in there. Aw, oh, man. And here I thought that was going to work all well. <sighs> well, I tried. I mean, I guess I could make like a shelf and put them on the shelf, but... Eh. I think I'll just leave them in my... My, um, my bag of holding here. For now. Alright, let's put you in there. I guess I need to remember that I keep putting those in there. All right, there we go. Now we're looking pretty good. All right, let's go put our door back. <laughs> Keep forgetting about this. And you. Nice. Let's go ahead and get us a little saturation there. All right, now let's see. I think I'm going to try making a very simple, normal Tinker's Construct bow. And I'm just going to use normal string and sticks so let's try this I think we can actually just do it like this oh no I guess not um, how do I make the bowstring I have never made one of these before um, oh right maybe we need a pattern for it so um, let's see, let's grab, let's just grab all those sticks. Let's make us a pattern real quick. And let's see, fletching, no, not that. Bowstring, all right, material cost three. All right, so if we put you in there, you string. Ah, there we go, bowstring, perfect. All right, now I think we can actually use this. So for now, I'm going to just try sticks and see if maybe later on we could possibly try to level this up. So we got a draw speed of one second, arrow speed of one. So I guess this is just some very, very normal bow. Let's call this the starter bow for now. Oops, bower, what am I doing? <laughs> so yeah, we can level this up. All right. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to call this a starter bow. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. For now. At least. I think I might be able to rename this later on. But yeah, that looks pretty good. And I think I can actually use normal arrows with this. So like, so like the ones that I've actually picked up. I think these will actually break, though. Draw speed's not too bad. I can live with that. But we can also make arrows. So I might give that a shot too. Those require... 
believe, a tool rod and a fletching. Actually, more than that. I'm sorry. Um, arrowhead, fletching, and then a tool rod. So, let's see. There's our arrowhead pattern. Then there's our fletching. Cool. I'm going to try paper. So, in fact, let me actually make a good bit of paper. And let's try fletchings. Okay, so maybe I need to... Oh, wait, hold on. Did I do that wrong? No, that's right. I put that in the right spot. Wasn't it like this? Paper stack, tinker's construct. Maybe that? Does that not work? Maybe paper does not work for fletching. Oh, valid materials. I gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> Feather, leaf, and slime. I didn't notice that. Alright, that's fine. Uh, we'll put the paper away in here for now. I got one feather. <laughs> that's it? One feather? I need to go find some chickens. Alright, so one feather fletching. And then we have the arrowhead pattern. So we can use wood, stone, flint, bone, obsidian, netherrack, or thomium. I think flint would probably uh, be a good source for this. Considering it's used in normal arrows anyway. So we'll give that a shot. Alright. Two damage. Hold on a minute. We got some bones around here too. I think bones might work pretty good. Alright, so we got two damage. 400 speed. Two damage, 400 speed. But this has 200 durability. This one only has 171. Let's use bone. Let's use bone. It'll be a little different this time. All right, and I think we'll just use a stick. Because that counts as a uh, wooden rod, I believe. So if we use this, we can put feather fletchings, bone arrowhead, and stick. And these actually have modifiers. So it has a weight accuracy and it has modifiers on it so we can modify the actual arrow itself all right Let's see let me go ahead and I'm gonna put these in here for just a minute because if I'm not mistaken you get these back even after I think you hit a mob with those all right I'm gonna have to go do a little bit of hunting I think I want to try leveling this up I don't think I have any mobs in the general vicinity, according to my map. Wow, there's nothing out. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> um, I guess I just had to reset, maybe. It doesn't show up on this one, but it shows up on the little map up there. I think I just had to reset it. Alright. Hmm... I think I might go give this a try. You know what? Let's try it on some sheep. We got a lot of sheep around. Sorry, sheeps. But I gots to do this. Alright. Wow. I just one-shot that thing. And I got my arrow back, too. Look at that. That does a pretty decent amount of damage. So, it said we had durability on those. I don't know if that if that's going to affect the rest of the arrows or not. But we can level this up, so that's awesome. That's good. I'm going to have to make sure I uh, start using this a little bit more often now, though. Just so that we can level it up and see what kind of modifiers it gives us. And uh, maybe eventually we could upgrade this to something like um, slime. It's kind of what I've been... What, why you do that? <laughs> Been wanting to do myself. All right, that's nice. Cool. I got a bow. All right, I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down a little bit, and we'll do some more stuff here real quick. I'm go ahead and eat my rest of my fish sticks. Mmm. So that is awesome because it took a little while for my hunger to actually go down. I noticed. So that's really nice. I think what I'm gonna do is we're going to set up 
the basement. I think we're going to start working on that right now. And I think... I'm going to have the door, and we're just going to lay this out. I think the door for this room is going to be right here. So in fact, let me go ahead and just pick this torch up, place you there. And see if I can't set this up. We'll just um, kind of start laying this out a little bit. So this is going to go to right about three, four, five, maybe here. It's not a bad room for a dining room, I think. In fact, we'll give them a little bit more room. Because this is big enough for, for, for a foyer, or foyer, <laughs> foyer, whatever you want to call it. And then here... This will go into this room here, and we're going to cut this off probably right here. No. I need more room for the living room. Otherwise, it's going to look really, really small. I think maybe here. There we go. That's a little bit better. A little bit more believable. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to be using this room for. But I think that'll be good. Might just use it for going down to our basement. So we might just put the, the staircase in here. Um, I was thinking about putting it right here. Leading down into the basement. But I think... I think it might do this a little differently. If we're just going to use this room for stairs going down... I think I might just put it like right in here. Kind of wanted it against the wall though. So maybe like back here going down. Starting right here. We'll do a three wide. Yeah, I think that'll work. And starting here. Use our matic to help us get down a little bit further. Alright, now I'm not sure exactly how far I want to go down just yet. But I'll figure that out in a minute. It's nighttime, there's mobs out, and I want to try my new bow. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Alright, Fred, where are you at, buddy? Oh, you're right here somewhere. Oh, I see you coming. I see you coming from a distance away. Look at you. And you... Do you have a bow too? You do have a bow. No, that's a fishing pole. He has a fishing pole. Fred. Fred the fisherman. This is going to take a little bit of work. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, jeez. Holy cow, did he just... He just used his fishing pole on me, didn't you? You little... Oh, hey, look, he dropped some fish. Wow, that's really nice of him. You picked up my... Give me my arrow back. Stop picking up my arrows. Those are mine. Oh, good, he dropped them. Nice. Phew, all right. <laughs> Jeez, Fred, gave me a free fishing rod and a fish. I can make some more um fish sticks now. Sweet. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Does uh, normal fishing actually still work? <laughs> it doesn't really... Was that the 1-7 mechanic where the... um You saw the little fish bubbles go towards the, the bomber? Ah, darn it, I think I missed it. Whatever. <laughs> I kind of like the uh, the new fishing anyway. So are there creepers down here? No. So how much experience do I have? 13%. Ooh, I saw you, Fred. Fred just spawned in over there. All right, come here, Fred. Gots to try my new bow on you. He likes to pick up my arrows. It's got pretty decent damage. 
Hey, good. We're still getting our arrows back, too. I like it. it. Works pretty well. So maybe about six experience per kill, maybe. I'm not sure if that's per just like firing or just like a kill. Really, not that many close by either. All right, I think that'll work. It's a good little demonstration there. It's got me convinced that I actually like it. Mind using it? Cows, how are you doing down here? All right, babies are still going. And that's 86%. All right, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do here. I think I might have to re, like, redo this because I kind of want more room. Maybe we'll just push this out more. Do I have more? Because I, I, I'm afraid I'm gonna bonk my head on that. That's why I don't really like that so far. Now I'm gonna have to get the stairs ready, make our way down too, and I'm probably gonna make them out of great wood. Um, I don't know if we can actually make great wood stairs. No, but we can multi or micro block them, multi block whatever. Might do that. That might be a good idea. All right, let's see. Let's try hammer real quick. Do some clearing out down here, I think. Possibly gonna go down maybe about three more blocks. So like, yeah, I think so. You know, I want it fairly deep underneath here, but I still want to be able to access like our smeltery and not make it like too crazy large, so. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna work on this a little bit more next episode, and we'll have some other stuff Obviously, we're gonna be working on as well, but I think that's gonna about do it for today I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Let me know what you guys think if you guys have any helpful tips tricks or comments Feel free to put those in the comment section down below if you guys would rate the video I'd really appreciate it and until next time. We'll see you guys then Goodbye